In 1833, when emancipation of the slaves was proclaimed, slaves took to the streets, paraded, sang, and played music in their best outfits, like they did on New Year and Tweede Nieuwe Jaar. These slaves prepared the foundations on which Cape Town's New Year festivals would later develop. Blackface minstrels made a big impact on the Cape as early as 1848, contributing to the unique South African minstrel culture. Trying a glimpse of the opening night of the Alhambra Theatre Cape Town of the non-stop minstrel scandals, we see the administrator of the Cape, Mr. Malon, and other dignitaries. This is the Burke Brick Hill musical that met with a standing ovation. African theatre's lavish and spectacular stage review has been hailed by press and public as a glittering theatrical event. The spectacular minstrel scandals is alive with movement, music and merriment and promises wonderful entertainment for South Africa's theatre girls. admiration for the culture of our colored community. My personal thanks, to express my personal thanks to all those who are involved in this demonstration. I know that what we are seeing today is the result of very hard work which has lasted many months practicing and rehearsing sewing costumes to make sure that the culture of this community this important community is placed before the public this new year a celebration could never happen anywhere else with as much soul as in Cape Town. Can you imagine 13,000 minstrels parading through the streets of Cape Town, all dressed up, all singing, 
or were there bands? It's, it's just the phen a phenomenal sort of spectacular in terms of color and dance and music and people lining the streets. <laughs> Van muziek. Ik weet zelf was een zanger geweest in die 60 jaren voor die Big Beach in van die meest bekende groepen. Ik en zijn Adams en Tally Peterson en het bij een keer voor hoe samen gedeeld. Dus waar mijn liefde van muziek vandaan komt. En baie van die groot zangers was eerst zangers geweest voor jullie troepen, zoals Cyril Valentine, zijn om zelf en andere, Danny Williams, wat het daar groot zangers is. Het gekomen uit die Koen Carnival. Uit. En ons moet hulle aanmoedig, omdat die talenten van die mensen moet ons ontluik, omdat hulle jou financieel en anders zullen hulle nog beter en groter kan wees. Mensen moeten niet neerkijken op die koens nie, hulle is ons mensen, hulle het baie talent. event where people can understand that it's not just the parade through the city of Cape Town on Tweede Nieuwe Jaar. It's the making of the costumes, it's the troop captains and the stories of them bonding their houses so that they can pay for some of the umbrellas and the satin clothes and dresses that the thousand troop members wear. It's about the Huma drums and all the drums being made. It's about the build up to this event that really takes place in Cape Town over a whole year. And the kind of aspirations and the dreams of the people who are involved. <laughs> Ik hoor het die oude mensen praat. Je de gami ontstaan. Die tijd toen die slaven vrijgesteld was. Toen het die mensen begin te hebben breed. In de lente toen rond gedaans in. Som het uh, op die blikken gespeeld. En zo so, kijk ons er voor en ons missen van hulle. Het was kijpers wat in die treid gebies het. En hulle het gemaakt die swabalies, die wijnvatte. Nou, ek het nou voor die afgelopen 25 jaar, het ek die koens, die nachtroepen, en die kalifadersplei, gemodernaais met goed wat so lig en soos een veekie, soos die goed. Geëxperiment met die triplei, ek het toen het versterkt met Glasfiber, wat we call die fiber, resin in die fiber metting. Daarmee ge, ge, uh, sterkere gemaakt. 
Het is gammy solitus. Als je toe om te tien jaar geleden het ik die marine plei gebruik en voor hem gesnui soos die wijnvatjes op plank gesnui wordt. En uh, ik heb het toen net gemaakt en hier langs mij is ik kon tripsen wat ik die strips en buig. Als ik het hier in zet, dan krijg ik zomaar die, die, die buigpad van die gammy. Dan krijg ik zomaar als, het, als, die, als die plankjes droog wordt. Ik heb het uh, springbok voor jou meester gebruikt. En uh, kijk, als ik je haren hier kan afhalen, dan draai ik mijn vijal om. Dan krap ik je siening aan de andere kant af. Nou, als je een siening los aan de andere kant, dan is die vijal een dove klank. Nou, als ik die siening afkrap, dan wil ik het doen dat hij meer rek in die vijal en hij geeft een bittere toon. Zo, so, die kool ik die Afrikaan zelf. Kami en die banjo speel die grootste rolle in comics, because, soos die steeds ook, was dat nie die elektriek instrument he. You know, the gummy and banjo was my art the instruments that I used was, was for comics and for other songs. You know, darum, um, in a comic especially, gummy and banjo spill the grootste role because they have the tight of the comics in six years. They have the timing for any other instrument. Darum, the instrument. Darum op the pad too, as they see the pad, or the dance on the pad, gummy and banjo grootste role because they have the tight of any other comic song or the tempo of the comic. They spill the grootste role with the tempo of the comics. van een nieuwe strijd die geschreven voor die Group Entertainers. Um, die message in die song is, is gepuist op die lifestyle van uh, Bergie. En um, die story is, maar is net van hoe zij op die straat beland het, sy drinkerij en so aan. En um, wat die mannen sing in background is, maar net dat ja, hulle sing dat hulle om vir ja op en moet laat door die drinkerij en so aan. En um, die story is baie, baie hartseer en is baie nice om te sien um, mense ke oor die specific, um, specific person. En hulle tram vir hom te help en hy wil nou net hier die help wat hier. Deprive little children in Cape Town of that today would be would be heartbreaking. So it's it's that sense of expectation, it's that sense of who we are, our culture, and claiming it back. <laughs> A known fact that's going to happen. Everybody that was anybody would want to emulate the Coons when the time was there. So you didn't have, you, you, it, there was no necessity for anybody to spur you on. You either wanted to be part of it, whether you didn't want to be part of, you were part of it anyway, because the Coons is the Coons. <laughs>
Die Männer machen auch da alle Bienenjus. Als je ze kan zien. Alle voor andere Bienenjus nou. Alle zo daar aan het fjallen. Alle zo daar aan het fjallen. Die mensen kan zien wat het bannen alle Bienenjus in. En die klank. Alle maakt die, die kamer die kleiner. Als die een mieter om te raffel. Bienenjus was eigenlijk die main instrument voor die rhythm. Behind another instrument. District 6 was the heart of the Kuhn culture, the cradle of New Year celebrations. Music was central to the life of District 6. People socialized on the streets, and a festive atmosphere always prevailed. Sadly, those memories now only exist in the District 6 Museum. New Year was, of course, a very special day for, for people, you know, not only of District 6, but throughout the Cape because of the Kuhn Carnival, you know, that takes place during the festive season, of course. Now, usually, uh, New Year's Eve stops usually close early, you know, just before one or after one. And people actually come from, from all over, from Woodstock, Salt River, wherever. And they will actually move in, you know, in the doorways of all the shops with the, the blankets, the, the mattress, the food. In fact, people sleep, will sleep in Hanover Street for three nights and two days, waiting for the Coons and the Malay Choir. <laughs> Those times were brilliant times, I think, you know, that then makes one sad when you think about it because it was all part of District 6 then. And you could see people were united. Uh, they loved each other, they cared for each other. The coons usually assembled on the, the market, you know, where all markets used to be. And there was about 14 uh, different troops. And each one, of course, had their own number, like from one to number 14. And say half past ten, they will they will parade from from the market, and they will actually come up Russell Street. Let let just walk along and see the arrow there. So they will come up Russell Street, you know, one behind the other, and then of course down and over Street. This is where the arrows is, right down. And then they will turn left into Tennant Street, right, and then again down Caledon Street, right down Caledon Street into Spin Street and, you know, and then, of course, Adley Street and then right up to Wells Street. And from there, they, of course, they will move on to the Greenpoint Tag that time. That's where they used to perform, you know, the coons. And people were actually sitting, you know, from Russell Street, right down Hanover Street, right down Callan Street, Wells Street from the beginning, you know, where the gardens is, right up. People were sleeping everywhere, you know. Uh, in fact, the places where we were, they used to sleep, with, it's like uh, the route of, uh, you know, the Kuhn Carnival. But today, they only parade during this, the, in the streets of the city center because there's no more District 6, you know. to District 6, hopefully this year, you know, and I'm sure it will, the coons will become alive again, because people have to travel, some people don't even want to come to, to Cape Town anymore, because it's too far to travel, but once we're back in District 6, who knows, you know, it, we may uh, get that same vibe of the, the atmosphere of the coons again. My experience with Klopskamer, what I said, is number 4 of the Mellestraat. 
daar het uit te staan, het oosa is uit. En toen achter hij was, drie jaar, drie jaar het daar geweest. En toen achter hij, toen komen ze in die rode straten, van die staatse klopskamer. Dus het weer daar zo voor vijf jaar. En daar vandaan, toen komen ze hier toe. En dus is al die tijd, toen hij die drie jaar was van Ramadan. Toen was het niet meer klopschaat niet. Allemaal mijn kennis, allemaal mijn kennis die ze hier hebben van En allemaal haar kennis is van kleins af. Ze zullen nog op een totale verdag, ze zullen nog altijd in die klop zijn. Kennis zullen kleren voor alle, ze zullen het zomaar aantrekken. Ze zullen kan niet wakker morgen of niet, dan moet je wel eens zeggen, ze moet gaan slapen. Ze zullen het schaatsen slapen, ze zullen het maar weer op. Ze zullen wel aantrekken, vroeg in die ogen, ze zullen het aantrekken. Als het recht aan het tradition voor ons, kan het mensen om, om, om. En dan zullen het nooit echt ons krijgen. Aan de managing director of Group Entertainers. Het was started by the late Dolce Isaacs and the Dante Brothers. The Evergreen Dante Brothers. They saw het fit that the Boca was a troop. A minstrel troop. Even though it came out of the fold of the minstrel group that performed for years at various functions right around the world and they decided that there must be a group entertainers too and it was started about 10 12 years ago <laughs> People from Kailitsa performing with us, and we had a professional coach, uh, Mr. Joseph Moses, who is, inspe who is an inspector in, in music, and he did our coaching. And believe me, we improved 100%. So it was a very interesting process working with the Good Hopes because they haven't been singing for quite a few years and it takes about three to four years to train choral singing, good quality choral singing. So it was a great challenge and I started with the Good Hopes and I taught them initially male voices only so I had to change the piece for this current competition to a mixed choir. I've been involved with music for many years. I've been a teacher in music, lecturer in music and also a subject advisor in music. contribute in the community like I've been in the past sustain that contribution and, and, and uplift the, the appreciation for music in the society through working with the good of En ik was ook aangesteld als coach van de comics en ook aan de items dat specialized op de comics.
Meeste gevallen in de music, um, familiar tunes, soos die populaire songs wat, wat vandaag gespeeld worden in radio's en zo. So Because um, om, het, wat, om iets te met wat die waarde is, vandaag allemaal die youth, especially, waar was hulle die, you know, die malste is, basically die populaire songs en zo. So so is just tunes in die comics wat hulle van hou. Automatically gaan ze ook hulle aandacht kry ook om, you know, voor die comics in. Die um, tunes wat ons use, ook okay, ons kan ook niet enige tunes wat die, het moet alles in mekaar gaan soos een puzzle. Do it, 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 do Jelle groep muzikanten. Het is net in het jaar die competitie over die, uh, over die uh, nieuwe jaarperiode. En allemaal is maar wel maar het beste lever voor die competitie. positieve iets wat mensen kan in de pop jelden en een beetje van maak en een beetje mensen dat lach en samen kan zingen samen zijn in de dat is in het bij belangrijk samen zijn en allemaal kan bij elkaar komen om lekker muziek te maken en lekker te kan dansen in die straten What I always looked forward to was the junior sentimental, because those were going to become the singers of the future. And me, being an entertainer, uh, and can sort of relate to, 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 to the, the singing part of things, I always look forward to the youngsters, more the junior, who's going to be tomorrow's singer. Out of that juvenile category, a lot of stars were born, like Jonathan Butler, Tally Peterson, the whole cast of the Cat and the Kings, uh, you name it, they all came through the juvenile category and they made very, very big names for themselves.
vrouw mensen samen en samen te koens en al en die algemeen is basically ik zou zeggen alles speelt een grote rol, especially waar die voices kan zijn is because nou kan die mensen een extra stem met die aanzet wat wat die wat die male voices niet kan gaan halen voor jullie en daar zie tenne voices en zo aan, so basically ik zou zeggen alles speelt bij een grote rol. Basically, what's happening is um, usually when the coons go out on uh, like uh, stadium outings, and then uh, always people intend to give like tables. And this week, it's like my turn to give one. At least I decided to give one because why I'm um, I'm full out with the coons all years and still to come years to come. We actually had someone catering for us, but um, what we're serving is like samosas and pies and sisters and. I mean, just drumsticks with maybe cheese or polony on them, just like normal snacks, just to fill the tummy. Okay, obviously, for eating, they have to entertain, so they'll be singing most probably two or three songs they'll be singing. But we practice in the club's car. Uh, it's probably a comic or a nice, uh, smooth song. <laughs> For many years, we've been following, not me myself alone, but the whole family has been following the whole tradition. And especially the amount of work has been put into this whole thing. And that what makes it a auspicious occasion. Thank you. 
This is unique in the world. We actually, uh, we also work with overseas groups, and this this is unique. It's compared to the Rio Carnival, and uh, that's why a lot of people are working to make this known internationally. Everybody must come and see it. student at Yale University in the United States and I come from Los Angeles but I'm staying here in uh, Bonteville, uh, Bonteville for all the Saber people and Bonteville for the rest of us. Um, I'm working on my master's thesis on the forced removal of colored people during the Group Areas Act. I'm wearing the colors of the Lentil Here Entertainers. Um, I was doing an interview down in Mitchell's Plain in Little Kier with the District Sixer, and she said, I must meet this captain of this coon troop. I said, well, hey, I'm pretty interested in this coons business because I'd never seen it. They invited me, totally made me a part of the club's uh, tradition. Uh, it's going to be actually very difficult to explain to Americans about this coon carnival business because the, coon, the word coons is already so unpolitically correct. I mean, it's a totally derogatory term in America. And painting your face black in the minstrel tradition is uh, very offensive to most people. So I have to explain, first of all, that it's not an offensive cultural tradition here, that uh, it has none of the derogatory associations that it does in America. Well, it's been a, it's been a real joy. I, my, the people were, uh, in my community in Bonteville have really taken, I think, an extra special liking to me just because I joined the Coons. Because one never knows how a foreigner uh, approaches these things and how can they deal with this foreigner? You know, what is he all about? And so they see me joining the Coons, just basically having fun. And they can laugh at me, I can laugh at me, and we all kind of share that because they're in other Coon troops and we support each other. The reason why we here is number one, I think it's an annual event which is well known all over the country. My mom here is from Pretoria. She's turning 80 and I wanted her to see that as well. And for all the years that we've stayed in Cape Town, my wife and I, we both quite enjoy the coons. We never had the opportunity to be at a presentation like this before. It's my very lekker om hier te wees, want it's my groot voorrecht omdat ik al amper 80 is en dat is voor mij wonderlijk om dat ik kan zien. Dus ik ga net een bijzonder bij en waar meer. event into one of the great Cape Town events, like the cycle tour, like the Two Oceans Marathon, like the gourmet uh, event that we have in May in the city, where we can bring people from all over the world, but the reason for them coming is the great Kapsa Klopsa or Cape Town Minstrel Carnival on Puerto Nivea. <laughs> order to really take this event and make it into one of the great carnivals of the world. It can rival Rio, it can rival Notting Hill. It, it, it's got the flavor.
as people dance and celebrate. The final day draws to an end with celebrations and expectations high. This year's hard work and consistent rehearsals finally pays off as people eagerly await the winners of the Coon Carnival. Oh, 
Amongst the troop captains, there is already the talk of the next carnival. Word is out, the following year will be bigger and better. But for now, they head back to the various communities. It's 2 a.m. The streets are packed as the community eagerly awaits the arrival of the troops. Win or lose, celebrations continue into the early hours of the morning. The atmosphere remains festive as the community bids farewell to another joyous minstrel carnival.